how to run an Agile retrospective using LEGO. Of course, as the name says, this exercise is always based, all based in LEGO pieces. Okay, so the first thing that you need to guarantee is to have a huge amount of bricks, pieces for everyone in your team. So just go to a shop, ask for a bunch of pieces, bring them and enjoy, have fun. One of the cool things of this exercise is the way how the brain works. So actually, when you use your hands, you are triggering the creative part of your brain. So actually, people usually come up with really, really creative ways of solving problems or coming up with solutions. So the first step that you want to do is ask your team to come up with a figure, to build an object, a figure, whatever you want, a format, whatever, doesn't matter, that represents the way how the team worked in the previous sprint, okay? Allow them to play around for 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, and at the end, ask them to share their constructions to the rest of the group, okay? This will be very interesting. You'll see that people will come up with very strange figures, but this will be a lot of fun. At the end, when they are done, ask them to think about what are the things that were missing, okay? So what are the things that we did not have to make a perfect sprint? And in order to improve it, they should build on top of what they had before. So ask them to uh, add something to the public, to the previous object that they had before and ask them to think about the solution, okay? So what is missing in order for us to have a fantastic sprint uh, during the upcoming weeks? Allow them for 15, 20 minutes and again, tell them to share their stories and tell them to share their ideas, how, what they could do in order to get better. Okay, and then collect maybe two or three ideas. If you have a lot of ideas, just post them on the wall. Ask your teams to dot voting so that you select only the top two or three ideas. Okay, brainstorm how can you implement those ideas. Create really step-by-step -step ways of improving them or implementing them, and then take them to the upcoming sprint. I'm pretty sure if you do something like this, your team will get much better and first, and the most important thing is you had a lot of fun and this is what it counts. So go for it, have fun and I hope that you enjoy it.